if you're playing a ballad during a horn solo or something, a lot of us are uncomfortable to go to the sticks because we're afraid to leave space and this will get you comfortable leaving space. Okay guys, Nate from the 8020 Drummer here, lesson of the week number five. Literally a five minute lesson for you guys about micro time. I've gotten a lot of questions over the last couple weeks and I've done a couple videos that had me practicing things with the metronome in weird places. So let's delve into this little concept today, I'm behind the jazz kit, called micro time. And basically what micro time is and it took me a minute to distill this, but it's having your ears at least one level of subdivision above what you're playing. Is this essential 100% of the time? No. It's something you'll internalize the more you practice it. It'll become second nature to you. But in the practice room, and especially with slow tempos, it's really essential. So let me demonstrate really quickly with a metronome placement, which I'm in 3-4 time, quarter note equals 142, and I'm placing it on 16th note off beats. So let me count this for you as, as I play it. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. Here's another way to think of it. I will play the quarter notes with the bass drum and the eighth notes with the right hand on the hats, and I'll play the off beats with the left hand on the cross stick. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. So that's the thing you see me doing in a lot of scenes in these lesson videos. And the reason that I'm trying to do that is I'm trying to get my subdivision really good because that's the key to playing fast. And that's also the key to playing slow. It's the key to playing solos. Watch Eric Harland, watch Marcus Gilmore, watch Mark Juliana. Their ears are out ahead of their hands and they're thinking in more dimensions than what comes out. And, and once you look, know what to look for, you'll see it. Okay, so how do you get into this? It's really easy. You don't need to have the metronome on 16th note. Noth? You don't need to have the metronome on 16th note offbeats. You can have the metronome clicking 16ths, and you can put the accent on the last 16th like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. So for demonstration purposes, I'm going to show you a really simple, extremely slow tempo jazz beat, which has applications beyond jazz, but definitely those of you jazz guys, if you're playing a ballad during a horn solo or something, a lot of us are uncomfortable to go to the sticks because we're afraid to leave space and this will get you comfortable leaving space. So let me first take you through what I'm going to end up at, and then I'll show you how to get there. So here's the origin. One, two, three, four. Okay, and without the metronome, that just sounds like this. In real life, would you double the bass drum with the right hand? Probably not. 
but for purposes of learning this, it makes it easier. So there's a simple three or four step progression I'm going to take you through to get there. And so the first is simply triple it. And then the second is adding the hi-hat in. So. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And that's one level more difficult because you're including another limb. So. Counterintuitively, the next most difficult thing is adding that double left on the snare drum. So that'll sound like... Three, and you'll see when I turn on the metronome why that's more difficult. Playing that double left along with the metronome is actually tricky. So then the, the final stage is the final pattern, which is three, four. And that's it. And I recommend practicing this, as I've said in other videos, with the right hand on the rim of the floor tom, the floor tom, the the floor tom or the rack tom. So now let me play this for you with the metronome on 16th offbeats. And again, that's the level you're trying to get to, but you can practice this with 16th and it's almost as valuable. I'll show you really quickly. Okay, that's the lesson. Hit me up for coaching, the8020drummer.com slash coaching. That's right, holler at me. I'll see you back in a lesson soon. Peace. <laughs>